This is Gemara Bamitzia Daf Tzadik Vav, and we're holding towards the bottom of Tzadihe Amid Beis. We're about ten lines from the bottom. The first one line is Abayi. Now the truth is, I do apologize. We stickle stopped in the middle of the sugya, and the first part of today's shear is going to be a little bit difficult as we're going to continue in the drashos, the extra Vav, the Oi that we had in the previous sugya. So, again, I apologize. We probably should have pushed to get into Amr Aleph, but we ran out of steam. We ran out of time. So, for now, let's do what we can do. Says the Gemara, Abaye, Savala Krav Yeshaya, Umitaretz, Likroi Krav Yeshai. Abaye holds like Krav Yeshaya when it comes to the Vav, and he explains the Psukim like Krav Yeshaya. Whereas Rava, Sarva like Kirav Yainasan, Umitaris like Kroy, Kirav Yainasan. So the Gemara explains what exactly are these two Shittais, the Rav Yeshaya and the Rav Yainasan. Abai, Sarva like Kirav Yeshaya, Umitaris like Kroy, Kirav Yeshaya, by love, Aini, Ma Yishalim Yishalim, says the Tayyar, if, if the owner is not with him, he has to pay. And he's midayik time of the lesser of Teravayu. The reason why the Tayyar says he has to pay. It's because the owner is now with him bitarvayu by both points of time. Ha isei bechado, velesa bechado. But let's say the owner is with the borrower at one point, but not at the other. Potter then says Abaye, the borrower would be Potter because this would be considered by love imai. This would be considered the owner is with him enough to create the upatur. Furthermore, says the Taira, if the Bailim is with him, he should not pay. From here, says the Bailim, this teaches me, ask me from both. So now we have a Sira. We have two different times the Taira says Bailim, each one creating opposite the Yukim. The first creating the diok that if the owner is only there at one stage, you would indeed create the Torah of Bailamimo. The second, giving off the illusion of the opposite that there would be a chiv. So explains Abaye, you know what this teaches you? If the owner was there at the time of the barring, he does not have to be there at the subsequent time where the animal broke a bone, or died. Being there, would be enough to create the patur. But the other way around doesn't work. If the owner was only there at the later stage, then it will only be patur if... So that's how Abaye learns that because the psukim create opposite to you, Kim says Abaye, Depends which stage. The owner being there, Bashas Sheila, will suffice that he will not have to be there later, but the owner being there later will not be enough if he wasn't there earlier. That is Shita Sabaye. We turn over to today's Daf Sadik Vav and Aleph. And comes along Rava and Rava teaches Rava Savar. Look, Rav Yechana, Numetar, Yonisan, excuse me. As Rava teaches, we learned in Abraham, Im Bailov Imoi, Lo Yishale Mashma. What's the Mashmois? These are Ritavai, Umashmanami, the Kisa Bachad of Lazbachad the Potter. It has both Mashmois. Uksev Bailov, Aini, Moi Shalim Yishalim. So the second time the Torah writes, it says, Rava like Rav Yainis. Mashma the lesser, but Tabayu, Mashma Nami the Chisa Bechad of Lesser Bechad the Chayiv. So says Rava, very similar, Stira within the Psukim, the double mention. On one hand, teaches of Torah, on the other hand, teaches of Chayiv. Therefore, comes like Rava, and Rava says, You know, this tells you, Hayya Imai Bishash Eila, Ain Sarach Liyais Imai Bishashvura Mesa. That if you're there at the end, then you don't have to be there at the beginning. Excuse me. Excuse me, the opposite. If you're there at the beginning, you don't have to be there at the end. 
then So different ways of arriving at this din that it's true at some level that being there for one stage is enough. Depends. If it's the first, the stage of She'ilah, then it is enough. But if it's owner, if the owner is only there at a later stage, it's not enough unless he was there at the earlier She'ilah. Says the Gemara, what do you mean? We can learn it the exact opposite. We can learn that maybe the owner does not have to be there, but Shas Shvura Umesa. Says the Gemara, Mistavra She'ilah Adifa. I'll tell you. It's mistaver, which is fascinating, of course, because we're middle of Tarshni Psukim. And therefore, within Psukim, it's always very interesting to fall back onto a svara. It says the Gemara, just that it is logical. The point of Sheila makes more sense to require the owner. Because that's the moment it's coming into his Rishos of the borrower. Says, well, what do you mean? 12 lines down, the first one line is, Adaraba, Shvura, Umeza, Adifa, Shkein Chai, Vainzev. Says the Gemara, excuse me, our page just shrunk. Says the Gemara, there we go, Eloi She'ila, Shvura, Mesa, Mayavit. What do you mean? If not for the She'ila, there would never be a case of Shvura, Mesa. Says the Gemara. But if no Shura Mesa, then the borrowing would be inconsequential. Answers the Gemara, you're right. Why? Because there are other Chiyuvim that happen. That is, therefore, the owner being there at the Shaz Sheila will determine if we have this Ptur. Ravashi Amar says Ravashi that which we just said we could learn how to Amar Kra. Says Ravashi that if we're learning it out from the pasuk Chiyishal Ishm Imrei, what do we mean the pasuk of Bayla Vim Imrei? Ilav Hana Chava Mina. It would be the normal way the Pasuk wrote. Therefore, we need the extra Pasuk to teach us that it's by love. And that really concludes yesterday's Drashais, Abaya Rava, Rav Yeshaya, Rav Yenisan, being there, B'Shash She'ila, does not necessitate being there, B'Shash Shvura Mesa. But if owner was only there at Shvura Mesa, it would yes, it necessitate being there at the earlier She'ila. Ba'i Rami Barakhalma Sheila Le Rava Mahu. We're about 15 lines from the Y lines, and we're now going to go into different questions of Dinim at the Sha Sheila. What if someone borrows an animal, Le Rava, to sodomize the animal? Is this considered that like Shura Mesa says the Gemara? Do we say that we need to borrow things like people normally borrow? Or do we say no? What is the reason why a shayel is higher for Oinsim? Because he has an ah. So the borrower as well in this story also has an ah. Another shayla, shayla lira isba. What happened if someone borrowed an animal just to look chashif? Like borrowing a wealthy car. He wants people to see he has animals. It's money. There's no actual hana that he's getting it. A third shayla. Shayla last but pachas be pruta. You borrow the animal to work less than a pruta mao. Me moine be non vika. Demo kabachs be pruta lao klami. Shta shte barais. A fourth and final question. Last is ben pruta. Two cows to do a pruta with. Between them, Mahu, Rina bin Zelbas a Shayalu Mashal, Vika, Lamaisa, the lender lent it to a, a Pruta worth, and the borrower borrowed a Pruta worth, and therefore it's, there will be a Chiyuvim. Oidelma Zelbas a Parais, Cholchad Vachad Aleka Mimaina. Says the Gemara, four different Shailas. We don't answer any of them. We continue similar Shailas, but now they're going to center around the Petura of Bailavimai. Says the Gemara, two lines from the wide line. Shal me shutfim. 
So I'm borrowed from two partners, Vinisha Loi Echon Mehem. And one of the owners, one of the partners, came with Mao Kuloi Baila Vinan Volek. It has to be fully the Bailim, and there is not over here. Adoma, Meo Palga Dide, Mia Nimiftar. Or maybe no, there were two Bailim, there were Shutfim. You borrowed from one of them, you borrowed from both of them, excuse me, but one of them is there. So I will create a Petuar on half an animal. Says the Gemara in the first white line, another Shaila, Shal me Shutfim Shishalu, Vinishal Echami Hamao, the flip side case. Kula Shayal being on Vlak O Doma Vu Bagal Shalmi is Mifter. Shal me Isha Vinishal Baila. So I'm borrowed from woman and the husband came with Isha Shishal Vinishal Baila. Or woman borrowed and her husband went. Mao, Kini Bayrais, Kikini Agov Tami, and therefore it's like Baila me. Maya Lai. Omar Le Ravina Le Ravashi. So after all these questions, we don't ask them. But we continue on the fourth white line. Ravina said to Ravashi, Haimer Lishluchai say Vihishali im parasi. So it says to Shliach, go and be borrowed for me together with my para. Mao, by the mamish, be on Veleka. This guy is just a Shliach. He could take over the place of the original owner. And therefore, it should be called by Elam Ima. With regarding to the cases we had of the husband and wife's property, it's Machlik Zav Yechon and Yishlakish Shaliach, is a Plokta de Rav Yenis and Rav Yeshaya. Now the Gemara explains what are these two levels of Machlik Zav Yechon and Rav Yechon and Yishlakish. Ditmar. Because of course, Kini and Peir is getting a gov dummy, so it's like you have a kidney in the karka. Therefore, you could bring Bikurim and you could say the parasha. Rash Lagish, maybe in a karka. Why? Kini and Peir is not getting gov dummy, and therefore it's not considered. They own the actual land, and therefore you can't bring and you can't see the parsha bikurim. The next case was shliach. That is twelve lines on the bottom. The first one is plukta. Plukta derviyanis and revishay the tanya. Hoyim la bechav is called nedarim sheyishdi nedares. So one says the nabechav is any nedarim the wife makes me can. I shall have him come plenty until he come back from a certain place. Have our love. Favor law, Yachlai with the game, my friend, Tom Lamar, Ishi, Kiman of Ishi, Virano, Ravi Shaya, Ravi, and his Anamar, Matin, Mokom, just with Adam, come, my son, he's never allowed, but Chabas can take his place in in its entirety. Continues the Gemara, okay, so we answered up those questions. We didn't answer up the rest, but continues the Gemara, Amr Le, Ravi Illish, the Rava, Amr Lavdai, Save Ishel, Im Parasi. Mao, a very similar question. It's not shliach now to nevet. Tibar leman de b'shulchan ani kamaisi. Tibar leman de b'shulchan shel adam. Ain't like kamaisi. Explains the gemara four lines of the bottom. Tibar leman de amar shulchan shel adam kamaisi. Do we say ani midli shliach devar mitzvah? Who will have those lavar mitzvah? Loi why? To nevet has no mitzvah. So don't have to leman de amar shulchan shel adam kamaisi. Ani midli shliach. Have a levet. He's a man. He should never get a rabbi damia. He's literally an extension of the master. So Amar Le responds, Rava Mistavra Yad Ave Yad Ave Kad Rabo Damya. That's how he answers the Shayla. Boi Rami Bar Chama Baal Benichse Yishtai. What is the status with Garton Chasim Nichse Malog? Is the Hazid considered as we turn over to Sadiq Vavo Menbeis? Shayal Ave Oisaychar Ave. What is the husband? Many ramifications of the Shayla. But is the husband considered like he's renting his wife's Muluk property or he's borrowing it? Because you're so smart, you made a mistake. He said, Rava, what's the difference? Either way, there should be a patur of Bibaylev. Five lines down, Sadiq Vavam Abeis, the Agra Minei Para. The case is in which someone rented a cow, the Hadar Nazva, and then he married her, Shayel Have, Oisei Chavi. That's the case they're asking, A Shayla. And what's the Shayla? Shayel Have, Vasi Shayla, Bailim, 
mafkaos chiros, and the fact that there's a she'ilu b'ilim, and it's the, as it's the woman's item that comes in as mafkia, the original rental, or shleibu which was shleibu b'ilim, and therefore there would yes be a batura b'ilim. Oidama say chavi, chiros kide kaimi, kaimi. Says the Gemara, my shenad yishayel havei does yishayel b'ilim mafkaos chiros shleibu b'ilim. Says the Gemara, I don't understand. The same thing in the reverse. He says, "Chadam yavitis eschirus vayelim demu gleis chirus shalayva vayelim." So says the Gemara, "Mimad nafshach." We should have a pator of vayelim. Alakikam yibayil or ami barachama kigayin degrei parameyam. Says the Gemara, the case was me where the woman was renting this cow. Vahadar nazo, then she got married. Valiv der abon and damri shayel meshalim lesoicher loyti vayel chadavade shiila bevayelim he. The whole kasha is Aliba de Rav Yosi. The Medakz of Har Levaylam are Rishayim. My Shail Avi or Seicha Avi. That was the Shaila. And to answer this question, comes like Rav and he teaches Baal Loi Shail Avi Loi Seicha Avi is neither. Ella, you know what the husband is? He's a Loi Keach. But Rav Yosi, Rav Chanina, the Rav Rav Yosi, Rav Chanina, Bausha Tkenu. Because when the husband gets married, it's considered like he bought all of his wife's properties, and therefore he'll be able to be moitzi miyad halakuchais. Ba'i Rami Bar Chama, twenty lines on the wide lines. First one line is lakuchais asks Rami Bar Chama Baal Benichse Yishtoi Mi Ma. We cannot figure out who is going to be the one that could have the potential of Elam. The Mark can't understand that, that it could be neither the husband of Baal. Nor Bezdin Ella Marava Baal Baal Shayitse. The husband is Maya when he uses the item. Why? Like you use any money of Hektish for Chulin. And one last Shaila Yibayilahu says the Gemara Kochash Balsar Machvas Malachamai. What is the day if the animal came weak? Kochash due to the work. Mai. Does the owner have to pay for that? Amr lei homi rabbanu rabbi chalik ya bereid rabbi yishmei mechlal chaimesa machzlacha mechayiv. What's your own question? So you have been stirring malacha. Of course, it's a b'tor. Name a lav lochem but kill the shelta. Ela marava. La name a lav lochem but kill the shelta. Of course, I didn't borrow the animal just to let it sit there. I bought the animal to use it. That's for sure. So answers to Gemara. They're just like it's a tour of Mesvach Slacha. There'll be a tour for the animal get damaged. We'll stop over here.